Hey there, Nicholas Andrew here, the Somatic Singer, and today I'm going to go back and do only my second reaction to this next artist. And I don't even know why, actually, that I've only done two, because the last time I did a reaction to this artist, LP, by the way, I absolutely loved it. Lost on You was not lost on me. It was absolutely fucking brilliant. But anyway, One Last Time is the song that I'm going to review today. I'm pretty sure it's going to be up to par. I mean, why wouldn't it be? So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. It's me, it's you, it's LP. P, and do we need anyone else? I don't think so. In the right place to move. One last time. And it definitely will not be my last time. <laughs> now I did actually Google her, Jamie King, because I thought they might be lovers, but they're not, they're just friends. Not that it matters. Another verse, another search for something hard. Another chance to make it right Oh, when it's young and it's fun There's nothing lost, nothing won and No consequence inside True It not only feels like darkness mm. When the light doesn't shine on your side yeah. You were the poet, I was huh. the poem But when your mind was Body. your own Bit of vocal creak crying there. But if I could have one last time with you, I imagine all the things we would do. I really like it. Love is in the words unspoken, all these moments of golden. Forever is mine with you. What are they gonna kiss then? I love the way it's shot. Really cinematic, and she looks amazing. Look at her. Quite anthemic or like religious sounding. It's the past of nothing lasts. Why don't you show me? But I'm afraid to scare myself. Cause where there's love, there is loss, and they hang on good line. With another tale to tell. That more wishes for the world. She's so interested, isn't she? Now, we would do the love is in the words unspoken, all these moments of golden forever. Kind of party, I want to be out. Here we go. So good. Sing it, LP. Yeah, I love that. I mean, our vocals are laid right back in the mix there. Those yodel flips, man. That's a good line. To hold you one last time. Oh, <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that. Oh my God, that was brilliant. Oh my God, loved it. So I think I can be pretty sure in saying that I really, really enjoyed that. I did. And I've only got like Lost On You to compare it to really. I know no other songs outside of those two by LP. I just don't. And that's normal for me really. You know, quite often I exist on the outside, the peripheral edges when it comes to a lot of singers and artists. I just dip in and out with the music really. I don't try and find out facts and figures and personal details. Like I say, it just comes down to whether I like the song or not. Now, I hear you cry. Am I saying that I don't like this in comparison to Lost On You? Of course, I'm not saying that. I absolutely loved it and I'm very quickly gonna tell you why. 
So obviously I just really like her as an artist, otherwise I wouldn't be doing her. Number two, you know, her songwriting skills, man, I mean, she has got that down. I mean, the way she went about describing that story, you know, reminiscing about that love affair that ended, you know, that she would have done again with an alternative ending, you know, I just thought that was amazing. I really went on that journey, how she lyrically told it and put some of those phrases together. Very well done. And, you know, really interesting the way that she uses her voice, the way she punched out some of those, some of those P's, you know, those consonants, absolutely love that. The very Vocal creak, you know, the vocal fry, you know, and those little yodel moments. Oh my God, mwah, I love that kind of thing. And of course, I just love the look of it as well, you know, the way it was all put together. Now, I know that's in the hands of like, you know, editors and colorists and all that kind of thing, but, you know, I'm still pretty sure she has a hand in how she wants to be perceived, you know, visually. It's very, very important. And in a musical landscape, you know, right now where there's not a lot of money put into videos, this one, you know, it looked lavish, it looked expensive, it looked cinematic. Absolutely job well done. There's nothing worse than a cheap fucking video. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there because I don't wanna go on for too long, but I just wanna close out by saying how utterly, utterly important it is, you know, to have that kind of love story played out, that kind of representation in a mainstream video in the mainstream media. It really, really is. Now, I'm not getting political, but believe me, there is some teenager sat somewhere in a bedroom looking at that video going, I can be who I am as a result of it. I really believe that. Be who you are. There is room enough for everyone. Anyway, I said it, so let me know what you think. Drop me a message in that section below. And I have a Wizio link down there as well if you want me to react to your singing. But until the next video, guys, I'll see you then. Peace, y'all.